In August of 1959, Belgian helicopter pilot and World War II veteran Remy van Lerda was flying over the Congo when he spotted an almost impossibly large snake. He recounts the sighting as follows. As we had a camera on board, I decided to make several passes over the hole where the snake was in, in order to let the man take a picture of it, and I made certainly between 4 and 6 passes right over the hole where the snake was in. By then I was already flying for 25 years, so I have a very good experience of measuring things. And I would say that the snake I saw there was close to 50 feet or 15 meters in length. When the helicopter got closer, the snake reared up about 10 feet or 3 meters off the ground at them. He said that it had large triangular jaws, and he was convinced that if the helicopter was closer, it would have struck them. The mouth was about 3 by 2 feet or 1 by 2 thirds meters long, and it could have swallowed a person whole. Three others saw the snake, photographer Kint, Colonel Roger Gason, and parachute major de Beffy. The story and photograph captivated a lot of people, especially after it was made famous by the show Arthur C. Clarke's Mysterious World and when it was covered in cryptozoologist Bernard Huevelman's book, The Last Dragons of Africa. Many thought that Van Lerda, who was a high-ranking member of the Belgian military who had received multiple awards, was a trustworthy eyewitness. Of course, it also inspired years of debate over whether or not the photo shows a genuine giant snake. So I'm going to take a deeper look at the story, including interesting satellite analysis of the photo. To start off, this isn't the only report of a giant snake in the region. Africa's largest known snake is the Central African Rock Python, which is found near where Van Lerda's sighting took place. It only reaches a confirmed length of about 25 feet or 7.5 meters, which almost puts it out of the question that he misjudged the size. In terms of cryptid snakes, however, there's what's called the Pumina, which is described as a giant snake. Locals called regular snakes Momas, but the giant ones Puminas. Ethnographer and explorer Mary Kingsley once reported that a 40-foot or 12-meter long snake had been found in modern-day Nigeria. About 175 kilometers or 110 miles northwest of the Kamina Air Base Van Lerda was in charge of, a man named Michael Vermersch spotted and fled from a giant snake. As for the snake's description, there are some problems. For one, a snake that big would struggle to move around, as large snakes typically live in the water most of the time. For it to be out in the middle of a dry area would be odd. Additionally, in appearance, it doesn't really resemble the known local snakes it would probably be related to. Van Lerda described it having a dark green back and white belly, which is unlike the local rock python's description. It could be a new species of snake that's not related to the rock python, but that's less likely. One of the more odd details is Van Lerda claiming that the snake rose to strike at them. This also doesn't really fit the python's description, as a python, especially one that size, wouldn't rise up to attack prey like a cobra would. Now what about the photograph itself? The major controversy around the photo is that there's almost a comical lack of recognizable objects in it that could be used as a scale for the snake. But there are some who think that you can make out different features in the picture. Bernard Huevelmans claimed to have shown it to several Belgian scientists who had been in the Congo. They identified termite mounds and trees in the photo. According to them, there is an acacia thicket in the upper right corner. With those as a scale, all of them agree that it was a very large snake. He also consulted with zoologist and wildlife photographer Ray Turkafs. He calculated that based on the estimated height of the helicopter, about 16 meters or 50 feet off the ground, and the angle the photo was taken at, the snake was around 12 to 14 meters, or 39 to 45 feet in length. Turkafs also thought that the blur around the edges of the photo was a result of the picture being taken from a helicopter and poor lens correction. If he was correct, this confirms at least part of the story. There have been two interesting pieces of analysis conducted on the photograph that I'd like to talk about. The first is an attempt to measure objects in the photo conducted by Reddit user Autumn Octavia. The user highlighted what are supposedly two trees, a mound, and another tree. 
Autumn didn't conclude that the trees proved that the snake was around 50 feet long, however. The user gave some estimations of the snake's length based on how tall the trees might be, anywhere from 12 to 60 feet or 3.5 to 18 meters long. Autumn did think that the best estimate for the tree's height would put the length of the snake somewhere between 30 to 50 feet or 10 to 15 meters long. Now personally, I can kind of see the trees, but not the mound. Either way, it's interesting that multiple people, including apparent experts, agree that the photo's contents could back the claims of the animal's size. The second analysis is an attempt to find the actual location of the sighting on Google Earth. User Donald's Happy Meal looked through Google Earth to try and find the location. Donald did find a spot which seems to both match the photograph and back up the claim that the snake was 50 feet long. On screen right now is an overlay Donald put together of the spot on Google Earth and the photograph. Now what's interesting about this is that it wasn't the first time someone attempted to do this. One of Bernard Huevelman's friends, named George Bonivere, also traveled to the spot in 1959. There he apparently filmed color footage of the spot from the same height alleged by Van Lerda. This footage was then analyzed and appeared to back up the size estimate. Unfortunately, this footage is a case of lost media. It's not available online anywhere, and it probably sits in the Huevelman's archive in Switzerland that we've been unable to get into. But back to the satellite photo. If this is the spot, what's the problem? The issue is, the photo doesn't seem to be in the same area that the witnesses described. Bonivere Vare said that the spot was about 100 kilometers northwest of Camina. The satellite photo is closer to Camina and is in the east. Now, this isn't necessarily a nail in the coffin for the satellite photo. Bonivere did get some details wrong previously, like stating that the camera used to take the photo was a 45mm when it was actually a 6x6, but it isn't exactly a smoking gun either. The pictures do look a little similar, so even if the user didn't get the picture's exact location, the satellite image could have captured an area that has similar terrain and features. If so, maybe it still backs up the size estimate, but I wouldn't think of it as an important piece of evidence. So if it's not a giant snake, what is it? I've seen a couple of suggestions. One is that the snake is actually a much smaller snake or worm placed on a rock or some dirt. This could explain the lack of features visible in the photo. It could also be a misidentification of a rock python where the witnesses and analysts just wildly misjudged the size. The photograph was taken during a time of extreme crisis in the region, so I don't think the snake was a giant model or something like that. Now the big question is, will the mystery of the photo ever be solved? I think there are a couple leads. First would be getting the color footage of the spot where the photo was taken from the Huevelman's archive. This could help a ton if not solve the mystery. Even if that isn't enough to prove the snake's existence, it would at least give cryptozoologists a spot to look for them. Second, it could be worth seeing if the other men aboard had any recollection of the sighting. Maybe they thought it was much smaller than Van Lerda, or maybe they have more information about its location. Kent unfortunately died in a helicopter crash about a year after the sighting, but I believe the other two lived longer though I can't find de Beffy's first name. Van Lerda himself passed away in 1990. Roger Giesen seems to have played a somewhat large role in the region, as his name appears in some articles about the Congo crisis, so perhaps there's archives of him talking about the snake. YouTube says I have 53 viewers from Belgium, so if any of you happen to know more, please reach out. It's always possible that there was a secret confession or something from Van Lerda, admitting that the whole thing was a practical joke that'll be found one day. It's less likely, but maybe someone will find a skeleton or body that confirms the existence of a giant snake species in the Congo. Until then, the debate over the photo will continue. So what do you think about the giant snake photo? Leave a comment down below with your thoughts on the cryptid. Thank you for watching, and a big shout out to my Patreons Timothy and the YouTube channel Wild World. Who also makes YouTube videos you should check out. 
If you'd like to see more cryptozoology and lost media videos, I have playlists covering more topics that I'll link in the description. Liking and subscribing is also appreciated. That's all for this video, thank you again for watching, and I will see you in the next one.